for your consideration. A man, stuck in time, forced to repeat the same actions, only to fall asleep and wake up at the same point, chipping away at an intimidating pile, a mountain. With each loop, he makes some progress, he learns, he gets smarter. Witness now one of the loops in this cycle. Witness the escape from Mount Backlog. This week, we peer through a window that resembles a scary door, one that leads us to Night Springs, Nevada, a town stuck in the Twilight Zone. Okay, I'll stop that now. This week, we're going a little bit cheesier with the horror with Alan Wake's American Nightmare, which I bought bundled with Alan Wake at some point. The original, sadly, is no longer available for sale by reputable outlets due to music copyright issues, but the expand alone mini sequel, American Nightmare, is still available though. So here we are. Full disclosure though, I was going to finally dive into Condemned Criminal Origins, but it runs like garbage. There must be something more. Something we're not seeing. <sighs> and apparently these problems are well documented. Then I thought, okay, I'll jump into something a little more atmospheric. I thought I'll give Colat a shot. And... Well, that was boring, and I got lost, and I wasn't having fun, so I moved that to my shit list. Sorry, not sorry. Then only did I boot up American Nightmare, and something clicked. I got drawn in by the premise, and the overall presentation. Now, I really dug the main Alan Wake game. I found it very entertaining. I loved the whole Stephen King writer, styled like a TV series thing that Remedy was going for. An American Nightmare, much like Far Cry 3, Blood Dragon, shows how you can theme an existing game, keeping the same mechanics to create a completely fresh experience. In American Nightmare, you reprise your role as Alan Wake, writer, has some control over reality, don't ask, stuck in, well, a nightmare version of one of his written works, the TV anthology series Night Springs. Stalked by his evil doppelganger, Mr. Scratch, he must rewrite reality to escape the nightmare. Now that there is some pure, unadulterated, schlocky goodness. The game does take cues from... The game takes elements from Majora's Mask, but with the time loop business. At the end of the game, or at least what you think the end is, there's a little cutscene and you get thrown back to the beginning. So Remedy found a cheap and clever way to get the most out of the three levels they built for the story mode. Every time you complete a loop, you get a little bit closer to the true ending, which I won't spoil, but let's just say it's very appropriate for Alan Wake. What makes this whole loop and doing the same levels over and over again not feel repetitive is the fact that the few NPCs that you meet in the game help you in subsequent loops. See, through contact with you, they carry memories over from previous loops, which means they complete some of the grunt work for you because they also want to escape, which means the game sort of speeds up you know, towards the end. Also, through this repetition, you as the player learn what you need to do with each loop, meaning that you get better at it. You feel like you're making real progress. You know what's coming, and you're more prepared for it every time around. Of course, this whole thing could have backfired terribly. I mean, a time loop is a very cheap gimmick to some, but thanks to the strength of Remedy's writing, you know, sticking their guns to this Twilight Zone-esque style. It just works. Of course, you have to wonder if this even counts as a horror game. It doesn't really have jump scares. Death is sort of meaningless while you're stuck in the loop. Sure, it uses horror tropes, and Alan Wake as a character is basically a Stephen King analog, but is that enough? What makes something a horror game? Is there some kind of checklist that must be completed? Has jump scares? 
Check. Has flickering lights. Check. Some blood on the walls. Check. Does a game need to treat these accepted horror tropes seriously, like so many games do? Or is a horror game allowed to subtly subvert them? Can a game be classified as horror if the overarching theme is terrifying, but the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay isn't? Speaking of gameplay, like Resident Evil before it, American Nightmare is an over-the-shoulder experience with slow-moving enemies, except for the ones that charge, of course. In fact, if you've played Resi 4 or any game inspired by it, which is basically any third-person game of the last decade, you'll feel right at home with American Nightmare. There is one thing, though, that Alan Wake has that most of these other protagonists don't, and that's this really, really awkward dodge maneuver. Seriously, it doesn't seem like it would be effective, but it is. Especially when someone sneaks up behind you. Which you will spot, because in an inspired touch of design, one that often gets overlooked, Alan Wake will make eye contact with the biggest oncoming threat, tilting his head if need be. That, with the audio cues, saved my bacon a couple of times. And because Remedy have always enforced the rule of cool, if you dodge an attack that would have caused significant damage, the camera slows down, swings a bit, as if to say, yeah, this is some John Woo shit. The story mode only takes three to four hours to beat, so it's a short thing. Remedy seems to have had the same thought and added an arcade mode, which is basically wave-based defense with what felt like limited resources on the map. There is fun to be had there, sure, but it did wear a bit thin for me. It was fun for the first couple of levels, though. So, to get back to the original question, is Alan Wake even a horror game? I think so. It uses enough of the tropes to be classified as such. And it has Nightmare in the title, so there's that. But the main thrust of it is that feeling of being stuck in an endless loop, struggling to progress, does make you feel uneasy. And that's what makes it feel like a horror game, or an interactive version of Groundhog Day. And that'll just about wrap up this episode of Escape from Mount Backlog. Have you played Alan Wake's American Nightmare? Have you played the original? Did you manage to pick up Alan Wake before it went off store shelves? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're looking for something fun for a weekend, go buy American Nightmare. I can recommend it, and it's only like $10. or. 109 rand in our money and as always guys don't forget to like this video share it around subscribe if you haven't already if you are subscribed hit that notification bell so you can know when i upload more videos unless you're already following the schedule in which case you would know but that schedule may have something new in it soon and that's a tease i like teases and join us next week when we look at something well, I don't know, shit, some... Uh, we'll look at a horror game. How's that? It's still October. Bye.